everyone welcome back to another video and in today's video we're gonna do some syncing now i know it's been a while since i've posted a video it's been about like two weeks now but be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as you don't want to miss on any future videos that i'll be posting and without wasting any time let's get right into the video so as you can see up in the top left i have my clip and my sins and the song of choice now what you're going to want to do is drag it into a new composition and once you do that make sure you copy these exact settings i prefer to use 24 as that's usually the frame rate that most people use and it is the frame rate for cinematic videos now once you've added in your song all you have to do is select the song and double click l and what this will do is bring up a wave format where it'll be a bit more easier for you to see the song. Now, all you need to do is find exactly where you want the song to start and where you want the impact to be. So I'm just gonna play the video and we'll find out where I want each point to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is find where I'm going to add the build up and the impact and where the sins will go after the impact. So I'll just have to listen through and I will be back once I have done so. Now all I've done is add a marker onto each point that I need and how I do that is by dragging the marker onto the part that I need like so and once I've done that all I need to do is grab your clip Now, once I have the clip all I need to do is find where I want the clip to start which is around here and then we'll just play it and see how it looks. All right, so now I need to find where I want the impact to be. Before we do that, I'm going to mark a point where I want the build up to be, and I'll just drag the clip to where I want it to go, which is around there. Uh, one frame before he pulls out the gun. So that's where I want the build up to be. Now it won't be on time with the beat yet, the impact. So, but don't worry, we'll fix that later on in the video. So if we just play it right now, Yeah, so see how it's not on the beat, but we'll fix that. So what we're going to do is when we're at the build up is click Control Shift T, which will cut the clip and then click Control Alt T. And what we're going to also do before we do anything else, make sure you've marked where you want the clip to finish. So you've done your impact and then it's going to be at a point where you want it to finish. Say you want to transition to another cinematic or another clip. So make sure you have that marked as well. Otherwise you won't know where to finish off the clip. So I've marked it right there. And what I'm going to do is make a point at where I want the build up to start and obviously mute our clips and then go to where I want the build up to finish. Let's say around there, make a point and then go to where the impact starts and make a point. And then one more time, go to where you want the impact to end let's say around there and make a point. Now we're gonna move these points around. So what you're gonna have to do is delete the point that's at the very end and drag this all the way to the point that you've made, the marker that you've made at the end. Drag this one to the impact because that's where the impact will start. And then drag the middle one where you want the build up to finish. Drag it as close as you can to the impact. All right, now, as confusing as that may be, just uh, as long as you're following through, you'll be able to do this without no issues. Now, as you can see, there is some excess part of the clip at the end. All you need to do is just drag that all the way to the end of the clip. Now, if we look at this clip right now, it won't look as good as we haven't really messed around with the graph. So if we just play it back right now, So see, we do have a sort of a buildup, but we want to uh, express that more into the graph. So what we're gonna do is highlight all the keyframes and click F9 on your keyboard. And if you don't have F9 on your keyboard, right click on your mouse and click keyframe assistant and click easy ease. Now what you're gonna do is select out of that and click one of these keys. 
and go into the graph editor and now we have these two graphs we have the first one is the build up graph and the second one which is the impact graph now don't worry about this in between this won't really affect anything but all we have to worry about is these two graphs so all you're gonna do is depending on also the type of style you're going for and the song that you've chosen your graphs will vary but for this song that we're going for and for this style that we're going for and the song we've chosen we're going to go for this sort of graph where it's a upside down L really but it's more of a curve than a linear uh, graph so we're going to play around with it actually what we're going to do is drag this down as you can see in the build up this clip will go fast and in between it will go slow and then fast again and with the impact what I usually like to do is raise the left one up, up to here and the right one while holding shift, drag it all the way to the left and then hold that go of shift and drag it down like this. Now, not too sharp, but as obviously it depends on your style and what you're going for. But let's just play that back now, get out of the graph editor and let's just play that back and see what it looks like. Now, as you can see, there is some frame loss. So what you're gonna do is go to these columns over here and double click on this to enable frame blending. Okay, so I've just made a mistake, I just realized, but I wanted to build up to be actually here and not in the beat before. So, so I wanted it to be here. But that's all right. What we can do, actually, if that's a mistake that's happened before, say you've made a beat and it was too early and you want it to be later on in the video or in the song, all you have to do actually is go to where you want it to be in the new area that you want it to be and drag the original keyframe that you've made and drag it all the way to the new part of the song that you want it to be. And all you have to do is just drag this all the way to the keyframe, drag this all the way there and move your clip forward. And what that will do is that will cause the graph to look less sharper and you just have to fix it up a little bit like that and it will make the clip a bit faster and a bit shorter but that's all right so let's see what it looks like so it is a bit too sharp so what we're gonna do is lower up the left one and lower the right one a bit like that and see what that looks like Yep, so looking good. So now, as you can see, we've just synced up the clip and we have added in the build up and the impact. Now we're going to move on to the cinematics. And personally, I've recorded a few cinematics here. So I have one of running backwards um, with the shell. So I've recorded a few cinematics. And as you can see, I already have my points marked where I'm, each cinematic is going to go so all I have to do is just drag it in and go to where you want the cinematic to start exactly so say I want it as soon as I see movement and then with the excess uh, cinematics and then what we're going to do is click Control shift D and select the left part of the cinematic and delete that because we no longer need that and what we're going to do is click Control alt T make a point at the start and obviously mute the cinematic if it has any audio and drag all the way to the next point that you want the next cinematic to start at and all you need to do is go to the time remap at the bottom this number and just drag until you're happy with where you want it to stop but make sure that you stop at a place that has a bit of movement not where there's no movement left so around here and what you're going to do is click ctrl shift d again enter on that point and delete the right side now all you need to do is highlight the keyframes, click F9 and also, or you can do like I said, keyframe assistant and ease in and go into your graph and make a sort of sharp graph depending, like I said, on what your style is. Um, just going to play around and see what it looks like. Yep, that's not too bad actually. So we're going more of a sharp route. Um, like I said, it depends on the song, depends on the style, but uh, this is more of something I'd go for, especially with this song. 
All right, so now we're gonna add our second cinematic. And for this one, it's actually a two-parter. So meaning that there is one motion that's happening and then there'll be another motion that I want to happen. And how we're gonna do this is, first of all, we're gonna make sure we've marked out three points where it's gonna be the first cinematic movement and then the second cinematic movement. And what we're gonna do is drag in our clip. And like I said before, go to where you want the cinematic to start and where it starts moving. So about there, click Control Shift D, the left, left side. And for this one, to make it easier, we're going to click Control Alt T, make a point at the start, go to the middle, go to where you want the end of this first motion to be. So I'd say about there, and then go to the third point and go to where you want the whole thing to finish. So around, uh, I'd say there. And then click Control Shift D and delete the right side. And what this does is it will go from here and it will go into a wider range. And as you can see, it's basically, like I said, a two-parter. All right, so now what we're gonna do is highlight all these keyframes, click F9 and go into our graph editor. Now, as you can see, we have two graphs yet again, but this is obviously with the one cinematic. Sometimes in some edits, we see some cinematics that actually have more mo movement in them, and that's not just one movement in the cinematic. And in this case, we're gonna do something similar. So we're going to, for the first part of the cinematic, which is just this movement, we're going to lift up the left one and lower the right one, like so. And we wanna do this because we want it to lead into the next cinematic. And for the next cinematic, we want to have a sharp movement, depending on your cinematic, maybe you want it to slow down even more, um, but we want it to end in a fast motion, like so. So now we're gonna play the whole thing and see what it looks like with the cinematics. Yep, perfect. So now, as you can see, the cinematic is a bit too sharp and the start. So we want to just lift this one up by a bit and move it all the way to the left. And we'll see how that looks. Yep, perfect. Now, it may be a bit, obviously, not in the center. And the way you can fix that is by doing some pen and cropping and just moving the position over to the left. I personally will make a pen and crop uh, tutorial on its own in the future so be sure to have my notifications on as i will post a tutorial on how to do pen and crop in the future so if we put all this together we have this clip we have the impact the build up and then we have some cinematics following afterwards and if we put it all together it should look like this Great, now all we need to do is add a few special effects. I'm gonna do that right now and I will catch you after I add those. All right, so I've added in some effects, some pen and crops, some sun effects, and let's see what the final product looks like. All right, and that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you've learned something new. If you have a question, be sure to put it in the comments as I'll be reading all the comments and make sure to stay tuned as I have a couple more videos on the way on this channel for the next few weeks. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you next time. Peace.